Actually, those who are on the ground in those yes. those said we say, well, it doesn't look like Mr. Ibrahim is even on the ground. He's probably going to want to spoil the party. Uh, I mean, the party, that means the, 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 the old sure. joy that is on the sure, ground. Sure. Let, why... sure, let me remind you. You see, the problem we have in Ondo is not unusual. We've seen it before in Ogun. Nibiko himself, the governor of Ogun of Ondo State, in the first instance, has he always been a PDP member. He has had a history of hobnobbing and jumping from one platform to the other. person was with AD. Then he jumped from AD, he came to PDP. Then he jumped from PDP, he went to Labour. Then he jumped back to PDP. Some people have been consistently with PDP in that state. And the matter is made a little bit more tense because there is the principle of equity, rotation, and fair play in all our states, which means that if your senatorial district have produced the governor today, it will be naturally expected that some of the other senatorial districts will be considered. Okay. One of the things that is making this issue a little bit heightened in Ondo is because, incidentally, Governor Mimiko has not come to the table with equity. And if you don't come with equity, you cannot get justice. Uh -huh. So the people are saying that the man that they have produced seem to come from the area where a lot of people are expecting the government uh -huh. to report, which is Jim Ibrahim.